Hey, Will here from PPC Coach. I wanted to shoot a video talking about Christmas shopping online. Now, why the heck would I be talking about it this early? There's a good reason. We want to be ahead of the game. We don't want to be behind. We want to make sure we give everybody a lot of lead time so that they can get all the products that we're offering real fast and make sure that they definitely have it in time for Christmas. Yes, there are some that wait a little bit and they're last minute shoppers, but those people will be going to Amazon to get their stuff. We want to make sure we're out in front. So I'm going to show you a couple things that I found very, very interesting. And you can do this too. If you just go to Christmas online shopping stats. So I found this. This is from Shopify. Now you don't need to use Shopify to do this. With print on demand, you can use platforms and have them handle everything. The uh, printing, the shipping, the fulfilling, and then the updating as well. So Shopify just, I mean, obviously they have a ton of business that they do. So here's their stats from 2018. So total U.S. holiday online sales, you can see how it's climbed every year. So in 2018, it was $123.73 billion. Year over year growth, that's up 16%. So if we kind of extrapolate that out, we're probably looking at over $123 billion. So I would like to get a piece of that. Now here's the other thing. Thanksgiving to Cyber Monday are the biggest online shopping days. These are tied into Christmas though, because a lot of people are buying Christmas gifts on these days online. December is always expected to outperform November by almost 7 billion, but here we look at this from 2018. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday, uh, 6.2 billion was spent, I guess this was on Shopify, and Shopify is an online store, right? Online store platform. 3.7 on Thanksgiving, 7.9 on Cyber Monday. Uh, and then projected 65.5 billion in sales. I guess this is on Shopify in 2018. Crazy, right? So you can see that we need to get out in front of this. We can't wait. We can't start launching things in November to sell them for Christmas. We need to start planning and start getting ready and start actually launching stuff like now. Okay, the time is now. So here's something else I found. 30 holiday shopping sets that every small business owner needs to see. This applies to us. So 20 to 30 20 to 40% of yearly sales from small and mid-sized retailers take place within the last two months of the year. So that is November, December. Okay, uh, a lot of other stuff in here. There's one other one I saw. Cyber Monday sales online are jump, jump 30%. Well, this is old, this is old data. One in five holiday shoppers plan to spend more this year, as usual. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So online sales are basically increasing is what they're saying. So let's look at this too. This is key. About 30% of people will start shopping for Christmas before October, meaning, you know, September. And guess when I'm shooting this video? I'm shooting it September 1st. I'm shooting it today for a reason, because I know this. I've been through this wicked, wicked time, which is called the Christmas buying frenzy. And it is just awesome. And it does start now. And I know you go to places like Costco or you know, used to go to Walmart, and you can see that they have Halloween stuff out right now. But as soon as uh, Halloween's gone, they're going to flip that to Christmas the next night, like immediately. I bet if they could, they would skip Halloween and go right to Christmas because Christmas sales are huge. It's when people make 70 to 90% of their revenue for the year online for, is during the Christmas time. So it's saying that, you know, People, 68% expect to spend the same or more this Christmas holiday season compared to the last one. One in three shoppers expend to more, spend more than $500 on gifts. Crazy, right? Um, they're connected. 63% will do a majority of their shopping online. 40% uh, will use Twitter and Facebook to interact with companies. 94% are likely to use live chat to get help while online shopping. Crazy, right? And it's mobile too, right? So uh, you have to make sure that all of your listings look good on a phone. Otherwise, you're going to be losing out on business big time. So one last thing that I wanted to show you. And I hope you're getting excited about this. But here's now Cyber Week is basically around Thanksgiving uh, in the U.S. Okay, This is when they go nuts. Thanksgiving seems to be a little bit more popular than actually Christmas in the U.S. Whereas in Canada, Christmas is more popular than Thanksgiving. And we have it at different times too. Okay, so this is dealing with Cyber Cyber Week, and it says of those shopping this year, 65% are doing so to take advantage of deals that retailers offer. 
78 percent of shoppers plan to shop during the black friday cyber monday weekend crazy right top three places are going to be looking for gifts department stores online retailers only and big box stores consumers want to shop online to avoid crowds so we get that 40 percent of consumers plan to do most of their shopping via amazon and other large online retailers even if we get a fraction of that we're going to be doing pretty good uh, millennials, 93% will search for deals this holiday season. Millennials pl plan to spend nearly $100 for, on their pets this Christmas. Interesting. 60% of Americans are going to shop in stores or online over Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So 60% of, what, 330 million? can't remember how many, what the population of the U.S. is, but that's, that's a lot of people. 95% of retailers agree that deals and discounts are more effective at driving purchase decisions during the holidays than any other time of the year. Key, right? So here's the thing. Um, we need to figure out not only how to offer discounts, but who we can offer these discounts to. So what we need to be doing is building up a list. We need to plan stuff starting now. And here's the thing. Black Friday is Friday, November 29th. This is for the U.S., right? So why is it called Black Friday? It's given the name uh, Shopping Day after Thanksgiving in the U.S. It was originally called Black Friday because the volume of shoppers created traffic accidents and sometimes even violence. So you know all those YouTube videos you see where people are, like, you know, banging at the door at Best Buy or Walmart or whatever to get in the store and they're, like, fighting each other over discounts on TVs? So in the 50s, people began calling in sick the day after Thanksgiving to give themselves a four-day weekend. That's pretty cool. But anyway, the key is, it's here. We also know that people are buying a lot of stuff on Black Friday. We know it's the end of November. We know it's right in Christmas buying, the Christmas buying frenzy. So what do we do? We plan ahead. We want to make sure that we have products up and we have, we're showing them to people long before that so that we can not only sell products and profit, this is the most wonderful time of the year after all, but we can build up a nice email list so that we can then send out Black Friday sales. And Black Friday sales combined with, you know, some deadlines and some countdown timers and that kind of thing can be your most profitable email ever. Okay, so you could even just send out like three emails. One the day you start your sale, one in the middle of your sale, or actually four e emails, one at the start, one in the middle, and then two at the last day of your sale. You can sell anything. You can offer discounts on your products. You can send a list of your products with links to them with a discount, and you, you could have it expire. It's just, it's amazing. So the key is we have to start now. We have to start getting ready. We have to start researching. We have to start figuring out what products we want to put out there. I deal in the print-on-demand world. So for me, it's a matter of going out there and finding products that I'm looking to sell, using the gift angle, right? Because these are products that people are going to buy for somebody else. And for me, I know this business very well. I have, my bread and butter is basically jewelry. So I'm going to be focusing a lot on that. And I'm going to have a lot of stuff. I already do have a lot of stuff in place. And I have a big email list of all these buyers. So these buyers are going to buy from September, October, November. Then in November, they're going to get a Black Friday sale email and Cyber Monday email that offers a discount on stuff. And I'm going to make a ton of money on those two days, just like everybody else. But the key is, you have to start now. You can't put it off. So I know that, like, right now in Canada, the kids are going back to school in, you know, two days, basically. They're going back on the third here. Um, it's Labor Day weekend. So you're probably not thinking about Christmas sales right now, but you should be. So what can you do? Um, click that little link down in the description and hop in there. And hopefully... Uh, you can take advantage of this with you, with me, okay? So Christmas, bottom line, Christmas online shopping is like the best, best time of the year for people like us who are trying to sell products online, using Facebook ads, using Google ads, whatever it may be. But get in there, get ready, so that when Black Friday rolls around too, now you get a huge boost in your revenue, a gigantic boost, because you've been building up your email list of buyers from here to there, and then you just fire out that sale and people love it. So I can't wait to show you how to do this. Click that link in the description to learn more about what I'm offering and you will love it. We will see you soon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know if you've planned already for the Christmas buying frenzy. See you soon.